Hey, what's up guys? Double Sip in here, ready to play another game of Civilization VI. Welcome back. Today we're going to play a game as Catherine de' Medici the Magnificent. We're going to play on DD difficulty starting in the Ancient Era, Game Speed Standard, Standard Amount of City States, Disaster Intensity 4, Map is going to be 7 Cs, Map Size Standard, Everything Pretty Standard, and... For games mode, we're going to play on Barbarians Clans in the Sukatax Oceans mod. Okay, let's play. All right, let's look at the start location. So two spots for a holy site. I'm probably just going to settle in place, to be all honest. There is a two food, three production tile next to me, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and take that. I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk here. We're going to go ahead and pick up a scout. Opening tech, astrology, because I do want a religion this game. The wicked king wow one and found ourselves chocolate hill look at this why don't we go ahead and pick up a second scout there's definitely a petra city to be had in here petra city baby kumasi yes love kumasi oh yeah place down that holy site that we were talking about Sounds good. I'll go Slinger, Settler, and then Holy Sight. All right, we got Code of Laws. We'll plug in Discipline, God King. I would like to grab Craftsmanship. It will lead to the Government Plaza a little bit sooner. Really only one decent Holy Sight next to the Chocolate Hills, and that's right there. Uh, let's see what other locations we could settle. I guess we could settle this lake. It's actually a pretty decent lake. Definitely a really nice Huey here. Something like that. Maybe that'll be my next city. Envoy, perfect. We're not the first to meet Kumasi, so I'm going to put an envoy there. That envoy is going to net me one culture in the capital, and then having suzerainty of them is going to give me two culture and one gold for every specialty district in the origin city. Ooh, Antenna Narivo. And we were the first to meet Antenna Narivo. Kumasi wants us to build a government plaza. Antenna Narivo wants a trade route. Two things that are very doable. Kill this guy, boosting archery. Looks like Antenna Narivo might be clearing this out next turn. Oh, nice. He's crossed the lake. That's fantastic. We can clear this out now. I almost don't want to clear it out. I almost want to save, just wait a couple of turns and pick up a warrior from here and then pick up a warrior from here. And then that would be a couple of warriors that we wouldn't have had before. All right, let's get this slinger over in this direction before this becomes a real problem. Oh yeah, of course. Never mind. Let's clear this out now. I don't need any more problems over here. And we got ourselves a settler, so why don't we head in the general direction over here. Settle the lake. And we do have enough gold. We're going to pick up one warrior. Boom. Boosting bronze working. Let's go state workforce. Just going to scout out the north, make sure there's no other barb camps. Or travel villages. Alright, so we got a couple of enemies here, so I'm just going to fortify, let them attack me. Perfect. Nice. All right, we found them. And they're actually right over here. Why don't we send him a delegation? Found another tribal village. A really nice spot for a campus or a holy site. And we found Freddy. Freddy boy. Send Freddy a delegation, except we don't have any gold. So now he's going to hate our guts. It is what it is. Promotion. Excellent. Let's take the promotions. I could purchase a little bit of Diplo favor off him. I think I'm going to do that. 20 Diplo favor. Nice. Settle here. Boom. Three error score. Loving it. Now we're going to have to pick up masonry if we want to put this holy site here, which sucks. So once we pick up archery, let's go masonry right away. And then we should probably pick up a builder over here. I'm going to work the four food tiles so that we grow much faster. And I'll just go ahead and slowly build a builder in here. Another three error score right there. Thank you very much. Cross the river. Shot on them. Disperse this. Oh, I'm going to run away. All right, we got our tree and we got a pantheon. We could do desert folklore. We do have quite a bit of desert near us. Um, I do plan to put a city here. This will be my Petra city. We could do another city here. We have two food, two production tiles here. A hill. We can have a really good holy site in here if we had desert folklore. And then if we did one, two, three, 
Got another holy site there. That's what I'm going to do. Desert folklore. Seems pretty fun. Uh, it'll work really well with these cities that I have planned out. So we have state workforce. I'm going to put Liang in the city of Rouen. Because we're about to build a builder in here. This builder is going to be coming out here fairly soon. I'm going to heal my warrior for a couple of turns. Uh, I can switch out God King now. And I could plug in Ilkum. That will make those builders go a little bit faster. And we'll pick up foreign trade into early empire so these are cities that we have planned i definitely want to settle another city over here looks like i have a little bit of time so once i pick up a builder i could pop out a quick settler it is a little bit greedy but i could use the builder to either chop out these two tiles here now i'm regretting not picking up magnus but that's okay liang is pretty good all right let's chop out the woods Boom, that knocked off three turns off the settler. I might pick up the camp, or I guess we can't pick up the camp pantheon because we already picked up the desert pantheon. Never mind. If delicate beautiful, has any beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Literally one error score away from uh, getting a golden age, which is incredible. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it right now. Boom, here it is. Thank you very much. Chop that. Come over here, chop that in another turn. There's a dam to be had here, maybe an industrial zone, maybe an aqueduct. And then there could be a second industrial zone here with an aqueduct, which tells me that there could be potentially a government plaza here, maybe a commercial hub there and another commercial hub here and a diplomatic quarter up there. Maybe a diplom uh, commercial hub here, three cities with commercial hubs around the diplomatic quarter. This would be an amazing holy site. I know that. And then this would be a pretty decent campus right here. And then this could be easily, I don't know, a theater square or something. I could pick up actually another builder, but it's also really important to me that I get my faith generation up since I'm going for, I'm going into a golden age. So why don't I delete the builder, chop this out, put the holy site here. And maybe I'll buy a tile so that we could put a, a mine down for some production. All right, got ourselves a settler. Why don't we go ahead and settle this city? Looks like Germany is the only other civilization who has gone for religion. So I think I got time to pick up a shrine. Past. All right, so we've it's entered a golden age and we got early empire. Lovely. So uh, that means we can either pick up Magnus, Pingala, or another guy. We're going to put, I think, Magnus in the capital right now. Or I could put Magnus in here. There are quite a few chops. We just don't have any productive tiles, so I don't want to chop too much. Ooh, that's actually a very nice tile that we're working here. I'm going to put a mine here. There's actually some pretty decent production in here. As long as I improve like the fishes and stuff like that, I can keep up with the lack of food in the chocolate hills. So maybe I will chop this out and I'll put Liang in the capital. And then I'll put Magnus in Rouen. And we can do a little bit of chopping in here anyway. Monumentality is usually what I go for. Exodus of the Evangelist would guarantee that I get a religion very fast. I'm not really making that much faith. So picking up Monumentality doesn't make much sense. I think I'm going to go Exodus of the Evangelist. That's going to guarantee that I get a religion really fast. Got early empire. Let's pick up political philosophy. And we can even go as far as offering these guys open borders. Selling it. Two gold per turn. One gold per turn. All right, let's settle here. And I want to pick up a builder in here now. It kind of looks like we have quite a few hills in this city. So maybe building the rear valley in the city wouldn't be such a bad idea. Put a rear valley right here. And am I going to build a government plaza in here? We're working the three food tiles so that we grow much faster. Let's get this builder up there. I want to pick up this truffle so that we could sell it to the AI because our... Uh, Gold income's really bad right now. We do have some Diplo Favor to sell. Nobody likes Diplo Favor, but we can buy Diplo Favor for dirt cheap. So why don't we do that? I think what I'll do is I'll put Liang in the new city of Bordeaux because we are working on a builder in here. Ooh, yes. Tribal Village. Love it. Bronze is the okay, we got bronze working. Let's get the hell out of here. And we're going to pick up Pottery. Oh, yes. Look at these two irons, baby. Loving it. Incredible. Let's get up there. Well, let's pick up this truffles. We'll sell it to the AI right away. Boom. 20 faith. Loving it. Should be picking up a religion real fast, which we are. Put a cap here. Sell the truffles. 12 gold per turn. Actually sounds like a really good deal. 
I don't know where you're going with that guy, but boost wheel, boost ironworking. Now, question is, do I want to build my government plaza in my capital? I have one, two, three districts planned in my capital. I guess I could afford a fourth if I really wanted to. I mean, I probably should get a theater square in my capital at some point. Or actually, if I put a theater square here, it would give adjacency to the caviar because Catherine's special abilities here where improved luxury resource adjacent to a theater square, get plus two culture. So then I could build my government plaza in here. I would like to pick up a settler like almost right away. And you know what? I think I will. I think I'll pick up a settler in here and I'll put the government plaza in Bordeaux because this city is going to need a, a theater square as well. That would be one, two, three, potentially four districts. Just going to lock it in, commit. That's a commitment there. And we still want to pick up that builder though. Awesome. So we got sailing. We got our profit. Let's found our religion. We're going to take elephants and we're going to call it Big, beautiful women. <laughs> Boom. Um, ooh, choral music is actually available, which is awesome. But uh, we could always grab work ethic because we do have the desert folklore pantheon because we spawn literally next to a massive desert. Yeah, we'll go work ethic. It's just so good in here. Um, and we'll go ahead with missionary zeal. Boom. Big beautiful women is the true path of salvation. Please ignore all those other ones. And we got political philosophy. Excellent. Pick up a builder, four charge builder because of Liang will improve the caviar and the fish. That'll boost celestial navigation. Classical Republic is going to be our government. We'll pick up builders, colonization because we're building a settler and we're building a builder. Charismatic leader. And uh, I guess urban planning is good. That's fine. We want to beeline theology, if anything. So let's pick up mysticism first. Boost celestial navigation. Boom. And we got ourselves another settler. Keep going with the settlers in here for now. Uh, I need to forward settle these guys here. Uh-oh. We got a problem down here. I think what I'll do is I'll grab a friendship with Howmaker. That way he doesn't attack me. We're going to trade with Antenna Narivo for the Envoy. Two error score there. Perfect. And then we're going to place a harbor. And I think I had a harbor planned right here. I got Magnus in here. I'm going to chop that out. All right. Celestial's done. I really want to pick up military tactics because there's a pretty decent Huey in here. And we're going to put it right there. So that means I would need to pick up currency, mathematics into military tactics. All right. Let's settle here. Boom. Boom. Harold, uh, let's exchange. He's way the hell over here. So I really don't like the fact that he parked his fucking city right here. That is super annoying. Okay, we got the harbor done. And pick up a lighthouse right away. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and settle the Petra. All right, beautiful. We got currency. Let's do some chopping. We got the suzerainty for Kumasi, which means now our trade route to Antenna Narivo is going to net us a little bit of culture, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and pick up Ancestral Hall. We have a governor title. Probably not a bad idea to plug in Magnus into the capital since we're doing a lot of settlers right now. And I'm going to plug in the provisions right now. I'm going to pick up another missionary of the big, beautiful women religion. Definitely need to get a builder up in here. So maybe once we pick up the lighthouse, I'll pick up a builder in here and I'll put Liang in there so that it's a four charge builder. I don't see this barb camp. Maybe he got killed already. All right, Genghis Khan is here. Get open borders, grab his silk and we'll send him a delegation. We have a little bit of caviar we can sell and pick up 20 Diplo favor off Freddy here for one gold. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And then luxury resource wise, we could pick up a few luxuries off him as well. Oh, it's a big... Okay, the settler is safe. That's all right. I don't like this fucking situation. Um, I'm going to settle right here. City of Nats. I'm going to work the two food, one production. The city's going to need a builder almost right away. I should also put a plus six holy site right there. And we met India. So an India delegation as well. Uh, 
I'm going to put a mine here, I think. A little extra production is going to help this Ancestral Hall finish a little bit faster. Let's spread big, beautiful women to the city of Nance. Okay, so there's an archer here. You know what? I got a feeling that there's a barb camp here. If we can clear that out, we might be able to avoid a Dark Age. 18 gold per turn. Actually, a fantastic deal. Five gold per turn. Sounds good. Genghis Khan. Sure, why not? So we're going to make a ton of gold here. Let's get open borders with Freddy Boy. Boom. Uh, we lost a unit. I forget what it was. Oh, it was a scout, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a scout. That sucks. Oh, well. Jump on the hill. And I don't see this barb cap. There he is. I'll swap that tile. Perfect. I wish this would go a little bit faster, but it's not. For the end of the era, I do want to pick up as many missionaries because I do have Exodus of the Evangelists and my missionaries have extra charges. Oh, oh man, this is a problem. You guys are on your own, buddy. Then we the web of the mystic man. There you go. One step closer. We're going to pick up this uh, travel village. That'll be another era score. All right, let's pick up this builder here. Boom. This builder could be helpful up here. And it could also be helpful to Nance or Nance, however you say it. I feel like Nance needs a little bit of extra production here. You know, right there. Pick up a missionary. Should probably start picking up more shrines. Actually, you know what, man? Fuck. I should probably pick up more monument I don't, I don't think i have a single monument no i don't have a single monument so which is a huge mistake actually here's what i do i pick up a builder i got a builder here i should actually pick up a second builder send that builder up help the city get the production up get that online get this online and then this city could just well i guess i just bought a monument never mind we just picked up a monument <laughs> ah shit i meant to put production but fuck it Yes, 40 gold. Look at that. I'm already getting refunded by karma, baby. Oh, fuck. Did I just get killed? Holy shit. All right. We are uh, we are backing out of here. We are, we are not taking any part in that. We should probably get some, uh, some, some units here. Yeah, let's get our units back to our own territory. And we got theology, which is very nice. So now we have the opportunity to plug in the scripture card, which is massive when we have work ethic in. Um... Are we building any builders right now? Nope. So we don't need the builder card in. So I'm going to plug in urban planning. Scripture is good. Uh, you know what? I really want to plug in the Agage card. Because I think it's a good idea to pick up uh, a few archers to defend just in case anybody wants to go to war with us. Now that we have theology, I really want to pick up divine right eventually. So let's go ahead and pick up games and recreations. And I might go settle this city up here. Uh, it is a little further away than this city, but I have I have five turns until the ancestral hall is done. And I don't want to sit there for three turns. So why don't I send him up here? And then that way he doesn't have to sit idle. Or even better, I can settle there. Another settler done. And we have room for another district. Well, if I pick up a commercial hub, I can get another trade route online. As a matter of fact, I should probably have two trade routes. And I think I only have one. Or I could pick up a trade route in here. Yeah, let's pick up a trade route in here. That's what I'll do. Mm, I can start forward settling down this way. And if I choose to do that, then maybe what I'll do is I'll put Magnus in the city of Ruin. And then I'll, I'll pick up a, a builder in here. Or a settler in there. I want to place the Petra somewhere. Now, if I placed it right here, then I could place my theater square here. Petra. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to start pumping out a few archers in here. Instead of doing that settler thing that I was talking about. I do want to pick up a few archers. I want to have some archers in most of my cities. Right now, I'm pretty well undefended. And uh, that can be a real issue on DD. I do want to come in here and pick up that tile. Improve that. Now we have a couple productive tiles in here. I got some diamonds I can sell. I have some truffles I can sell. 23 gold per turn is a really nice deal. So we'll take that deal. One turn and we're headed for a dark age here. So we are screwed. Uh, but not really. We're not really screwed. We're just kind of screwed. I might as well go ahead and just keep picking up monuments. Picking up a theater square actually wouldn't be such a bad idea. Actually, I'll work the monument. Ooh temple no i'll work the monument could pick up a galley if i had enough gold sell my diplo favor pick up a galley i think that's only two error score though unfortunately 
Well, I think it is what it is. I think we hit a dark age and then maybe we come back with a heroic age. Let's pick up Exodus because that's how we're going to get mad error score. We'll settle this. Boom. And we'll pick up Irrigation because we can prove the T with Irrigation and the Silk. Once I pick up Irrigation, we'll go Apprenticeship. And then we could start getting on to these uh, industrial zones here. Maybe what I do is I pick up the industrial zone in this city because I do want to pick the rear valley up in this city. And then we pick up the theater square in here, even though it's not as good of a theater square. Although picking up some trade routes would be really good. It's a good way to get culture. Mm, yeah, you know what? We'll go monument, commercial hub, then temple. Ooh, you know what I did want to pick up as well? Is I want to pick up military tactics. So, irrigation, military tactics, apprenticeship. And then that way we could build a Huey in here. Uh, let's place the holy site here. Plus five holy site, pretty respectable. And then, uh, ooh, you know what we could do is we could plug in Liang. We have Liang right now. We have her right there. Actually, if I plug in... The zoning commissioner, that's 20% towards constructing districts. Now I could use her to get districts done a little bit faster. I like that idea. We should also pick up a builder in here. So maybe sell in a little bit of iron. Wouldn't be such a bad idea. Uh, I think I'm going to need a little more iron than that. Let's see if we can get a trade route to Antenna Narivo. This trade route's not doing exactly what I wanted. Actually, let's trade with Kumasi. That's much better because it's going to run a trade route through Paris and then through Kumasi. It's going to build me a nice little road. And then eventually it's going to go through this city as well. And World Congress. So definitely going to vote for big, beautiful women, obviously. And uh, there's probably a good chance that people are going to be voting down production. Um, I'll put an extra vote into bu big, beautiful women. Boom. Production. Big, beautiful women. Excellent. I uh, should probably pick up a temple in one of my cities. But I'm very focused on picking up a builder in here. Because this city has been sitting here struggling for a little bit. Of, and uh, of course he fucking pillaged my shit. Okay. Let's kill him. Gotta bring the builder over here to fix that. Okay, we got our first archer. So let's get that archer over here. We'll defend these cities. I want to get archers everywhere. So maybe this isn't the perfect city to build a bit of some settlers, but I think we're going to take a little bit of a break on settler building for a second, even though we literally just built the ancestral hall. But I got a few things that I want to build here, Huey being one of them, and I need to build a bit of a military here. And we're working a two food, one science. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would rather work like a three food so that we grow a little bit faster. We can improve this. Boom. Can sell it uh, that's all right i guess uh, i'm not gonna bother purchasing that i'm gonna pick one up once i settle the city let's chop out this holy site okay so now our production should be flying uh we'll pick up a monument then a shrine and then once we grow to four population we will uh start working on that campus you don't have very many productive tiles in here so maybe what i'll do is i'll put a quarry here Oh my god, there's a meteor site here. That's a free chariot for me. Free military unit, thank you very much. Uh, we should definitely send a unit up here to clear this out. This is going to be a problem. Definitely should get an archer actually up here. Just because it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll send my chariot up there as well. Okay, we lost his serenity of Antan and Arivo. I don't like that. Construct a diplomatic quarter. Actually, that is totally doable. Might actually uh, build it in rains for my third district, maybe. Where is Magnus is here? Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Magnus in Nats. And then I might chop out some of this rainforest so that we can get this holy site done a little bit faster. Okay, we're starting to put some uh, some turns into military tactics. So hopefully we'll be able to unlock the Huey uh, Teokali here pretty soon. And then we'll be able to build that. That would be a fantastic wonder for us. Uh, it would help us out big time. So what the Huey Teokali does is plus one amenity from entertainment from each lake tile within one tile of the Huey Wonder. 
Uh, but the part that I care about the most is it gives me plus one food and plus one production for each lake tile in your empire, which is going to be very helpful because we have quite a few lake tiles for the city of ruins. And we have a couple lake tiles here, one there, one there, right? So I have 648 gold, which is quite a bit of gold. Um, and I'm actually banking quite a bit of faith. So it probably wouldn't be the worst thing to actually just purchase a temple. I'll go ahead and purchase a temple. And then what I'll do is once I have enough faith, I'll pick up an apostle. And I'll start evangelizing my beliefs. Archer here. Let's leave an archer here. I like that. So he's working on a temple. Even though, you know what? I probably should actually be building settlers. Let's pick up a settler. And we do have another governor title. I would like to pick up industrialists at some point. And we're probably going to get a pretty high faith income. So it's probably not a bad idea to start plugging in some promotions into Moksha and then potentially pick up Divine Architect where it allows us to purchase districts with faith. But I think I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I appreciate you guys watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and leave me a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.